Welcome to another inspiring review guys. Today I'm going to be building a new machine here for myself. It's going to be an extreme enthusiast build. Um, it's going to be replacing the old 780i there with the two 8800 um, GTXs which is fairly old now. Um, but for now I haven't bought all the pieces of hardware which I want. For now yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys what I currently have. First of all guys, we're going with the Rampage Extreme from Asus. I've always wanted this board and this is a DDR3 board. And I know these, it's actually this almost cost me $600. It's a very expensive board. But um, from the from the yeah, reviews I've been reading, it's, it is pretty much worth it, you know, considering the actual performance of it. As you can see, it's got plenty of plenty of functions and all sorts of things, like extreme overclocking tools and yeah, there's just so much to go through. Let's just open this box up and I'll show you guys properly. Actually, what inspired me to get this board was um, TJ Harlow's uh, review on this on this board so thanks mate if it wasn't for you I probably wouldn't have looked twice at this board uh, this is the uh, accessory box comes with the LZ this is awesome to have I saw this on uh, YouTube here yeah, some guy doing a yeah, demonstration of this you, you can actually uh, control your BIOS through this LCD poster which plugs into the uh, motherboard I reckon that's fantastic and got a chipset cooler, uh, back panel plate, IO shield, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with different size barbs for your water cooling solution on the north bridge, which I'll be showing you later. USB and firewire um, plate. Manual and drivers. Starters. Um, temperature uh, reading thingos. ID floppy cables. Quick connects. And I don't even know yet what that is. Anyway, I'll get to that eventually. And what, and actually I saw, it, it, these, are, these are great I think. These are heat sinks, like extra heat sinks for your motherboard. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? And also, you know, another small one here. Oop. For the uh, MOSFETs I think it is. Which I'll be definitely, you're putting that on. Right now, let's have a look at the motherboard. Ooh, wee, 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 look at this motherboard. Oh, wow. Have a look at that. That is a really nice looking motherboard. I have never actually owned the motherboard which looks like this, or maybe even performed like this either. I'm sure I'm going to have fun with this board. And I've, I've uh, completely ditched NVIDIA. I'm sick of their boards. They just give you nothing but problems. So I'm just going to be a Intel boy from now on. Let's try and fix that in there but with the new sound cards now it's uh, powered by a creative so you're getting the X, XFI um, capabilities which is great and the AX 4.0 so that saves me buying the um, sound card from creative because it comes with a really good one which is basically like a, a creative anyway so that is awesome to have what else can I show you on this motherboard it's got a fusion block, 
which you can do water cooling or you can actually take that off if you're not going water cooling and you can put was it this one it could be the other one it's actually this one you can put that to replace the, the fusion block if you're not going water cooling to give it a bit more cooling performance which is great and then the fan goes on top of that as well and that is for your monsters yes it is which I'll definitely be, you'll be putting that on two PCI E lanes at 16 speed DDR3 memory up to 2000 megahertz supports the latest Intel CPUs obviously and also there is a toggle confirm and select buttons here reset and start obviously but yeah these three are for the LCD poster to your control if you are controlling the BIOS you yeah, through that LCD poster and if you have a look here there's two black SATA ports these are for automatic RAID so if you plug in two hard drives which are the same same hard drives or it will automatically array them <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and th th um, there is a black switch here too, which I don't know what it is. Yeah, there's there's a few little little uh, bits and pieces on this board which I don't know yeah, what they are, and there there'll be a, 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 a another review on this to uh, clarify a few things. Um, <coughs> six USB ports, two Ethernet's, FireWire and a SATA. And uh, switch for your for your year BIOS here to uh, reset the BIOS. Saves you taking out the uh, battery, you know, much easier, much more efficient. And also, it's a cool little, your cool little feature. Um, Rampage Extreme designed for overclocking, overclocked by, and then um, you can sign your actual name there. So if you break some records or something, or and you're really proud of your overclock, you just sign your name. I'm sure overclockers will appreciate that. Enthusiasts. That's that's pretty much it, guys. One this board. And I've also got um, four four gigabytes of XMS3 Corsair RAM. It's 1600 megahertz. Um, the latencies are 99924 at at 1.8 volts. From from yeah, some reviews I've been reading, guys have pushed that to 2000 megahertz. Um, so I hope I can get that running on this board. But uh, in, the, in the next video, guys, I'm going to be showing you my two 4870X2s. I'll, I'll be getting a um, 1100 watt power supply probably. But for now, I'm, I'm just going to chuck this hardware in that case and use my QX6700 um, 6, just for now, so I can power this board up. Because I just want to—I'm curious in how. The, the uh, QX6700 you, you will do on this board but uh, that'll be in, in, the, uh, in the next video guys so stay tuned